everybody and welcome to my second moving vlog. As you can see, I am sitting in like my official filming position because I just finished filming some videos and it's just easier to film it like this. So at least the intro, so that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a bit of a short reading vlog and it's also just like basically more of like a mini tour of what I have in my house right now. Not a complete apartment tour that will be saved when like everything is truly finished and such. So you know, that will still be there. But I wanted to film this little video because I do have some new things and I really, really want to show you. Also, I want to show you my Christmas tree before Christmas is over, which will be very soon that it's over. So this is my final opportunity. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you some of my new furniture, some of my new, I guess, accessories and decorating and such. I really do hope you will enjoy it. So um, yeah. So far, I have been living in my own apartment for about a month now. And I've been enjoying it very much. Of course, there's still lots that needs to be done. And especially in the beginning, it is a bit weird because it doesn't truly feel like home yet. It felt like staying in a very weird hotel because, you know, I'm used to my parents' house where I've lived for... 20 years and like my first five years like I am 25 but we lived in another house until I was four years old and then I lived like 21 years by the way and then I lived in like the house that I grew up in for 21 years so it is still weird you know with a month you're not going to replace an entire feeling of home yet but with every new thing that I add to my home and with every new day it feels more like my own place and I'm very happy with how I'm like building it how I am decorating it it just it's coming together so nicely and I love it and I really enjoy living on my own I, I am someone who does really like alone time and here I have plenty of that and I love that it's my place and that I can do with it whatever I want and it's just turning into home a bit more every day so um yeah i am just going to show you around the new things that i've got it's mostly my living room and my bedroom please ignore the mess because there's still so many boxes everywhere because that is just how life is when you move it's definitely already a lot less worse than it was because there was an entire room that was just dedicated to boxes and most of them i've brought to the recycling bin by now but it's just it's taking so many trips and every time that i've like finished bringing something there more boxes arrive with more stuff it is a never-ending story in that aspect so yeah that is fun like moving it takes time it's a process but it's a fun process as well also the sun is now shining in my face so you know i'm just going to finish this uh, bit of introduction and show around some of the new things that I've added to my home. Okay, so this is my living room right now. And as you can tell, I'm losing a bit of light, but it's actually good for the Christmas tree because uh, it shows how beautifully it is like lit with all those lights. So this is my Christmas tree and I love it so much. It's like, oh, gorgeous. And I put so many lights in there because I love the effect that it has with like, you know, that glitter effect with so many lights and I'm just in love with it. And I'm so sad that it has to go real soon. Oh, I wish Christmas could last longer, but you know, it has to end at some point. And I went for like Christmas balls with, you know, a golden and red theme. And I put in a golden star instead of like, what is it called in English? I don't know. I put in a golden star on the top and it is gorgeous and I love it. And I'm so, so happy with this tree and Oh, I'm just in love with it. But then the other exciting thing in my living room is the couch. Because I finally have a couch. It is wonderful. It is amazing. It came today actually like this morning and i've been waiting for it for weeks and weeks and it is nice it is big it is perfect to lounge around read and of course watch movies on my television over here also here i have lots and lots of mess boxes and empty packaging and things like that so please don't pay attention to that but the couch is just gorgeous i love it i'm in love with it those by the way are some um blankets for on the couch because I love getting underneath a blanket so I chose this light color because I feel like it matches well also something that came in today so uh, I still need to unpack it and like it never ends with unpacking there's so much and I chose well actually I didn't choose these uh, cushion cushions like these yellow ones apologies I seem to have some trouble speaking but my sister picked out these when we were in the store for like Christmas ornaments like three weeks ago and I love them I love the yellow because it matches I feel like really well with the color of the couch but also with like my green wall so yeah, very happy with that and then I also got a chair that matches the couch so you know I have a full 
set. And then of course here needs to come a coffee table. Last vlog I couldn't remember the name but it's a coffee table. So I'm still waiting for that. That should probably arrive somewhere in January. But this chair is just... It is magnificent because it's the most comfortable chair you will ever feel. It's just... And it spins. That's also cute. And yeah, I'm in love with it. I love how it looks. I love how it feels. And I'm so happy to have a couch. And... Oh, it feels like such a luxury after sitting on like my guest bed for weeks. And it is beautiful. And then, of course... Um, we have the couch, but I have to show you the bookshelves because I put on some lighting on the bookshelves as well. And I think it's so, so pretty. I love it. I'm going to leave this lighting like un un underneath, uh, under, no, not under. I'm going to leave that lighting even after Christmas because I feel like it's not necessarily Christmas lighting specifically. So yeah, I have it on here. I still want to do like some sort of lighting on here, on the other one, because it's now covered in <laughs> boxes also. A bit of a mess here on my dinner table because it's the aftermath of filming and then I will show you some of the other rooms. So first of all we have the room that was known as the boxes room. Still some boxes but this actually has some things in it. This is my desk that I still need to put together. This, These are my uh, school supplies that need to go into the desk. This, this is the paint that I used for the other room. That box over there needs to be returned. This is like empty boxes. And this is then um, the guest bed that I used as like sort of a couch for the past couple of weeks. But it's now neatly made because my mother will be staying over next week so she can sleep in here. Also it is some... I'm horrible, like, <laughs> this needs to go here. Um, that's the packaging of something that just came into the mail. So, um, yeah, it's a never, never ending supply of garbage. But this room will be prettier and then I will have my desk in here. So it's like a guest room slash study room, which is nice. Then over here we have my bedroom, which is also a mess. Apologies again. <laughs> this is my bed and I actually need some more pillows because I love pillows and these aren't like matched yet but i got this pink bedding which i really love also suitcase because this afternoon or like tonight i'm going back home to my parents house for christmas so that's nice these are supplies for wallpaper because over here on this wall i'm going to put some wallpaper in like a darker color i painted this before in this white color but um i don't really like the look of it it's too white for this entire room so it's going to be a darker color but then oh this is something i love i got a makeup vanity so this is like the famous ikea drawers like alex drawer drawers Pff, jesus it's the end of the afternoon i need a christmas break <laughs> my speaking isn't the best today so this is like oh this needs to be in so here I will put all my makeup. It's actually already in there, but I need to put it a bit more organized, I guess. My bag, because I'm going to my parents' house. And then here am I. Hello. And this mirror is amazing because look, oh, that was shiny. You can put it on different settings. So warm, cool, medium. Let's go for warm right now. And you can also put it on lower, higher, it's perfect for makeup and as you know i love makeup and this mirror by the way is also with a bit of lighting very useful for when you're like doing eyeshadow like i love to do and then in here we have some makeup palettes i love makeup but i want this to be more organized so i will be working on that and i like i want some organizers for these drawers and here's some lipstick and eyeliner like oh, so many things but it needs to be more organized so yeah i need to do that and then uh, oh yeah i also got a um this, like uh, a lamp. <laughs> Nothing too special, but I really like that it fits with this room. And then, yeah, I also have this closet that you've already seen because uh, it's just the closet that I took over from the previous owners. My clothes are in there. And then my hall, a sneak peek of the kitchen, which is messy, so I'm not going to show it. And then I forgot, but I also uh, have a new lamp over here. I love it. It really brings the room together, I feel. And once the coffee table is there, it will look beautiful, I think. By the way, my sister put this one together. She wants you to know that it consists of 55 pieces. But yeah, I feel like it really puts this look together. So yeah, this is what my house looks right now. Still lots of that needs to be done, but mostly in the decorating part and the most important things that still need to happen is that i have to put my desk together and i need a coffee table and then after that i am pretty much done and i will just <laughs> go sit here because i am tired of standing <laughs> so yeah this is a bit of a whoop, a bit of a messy moving vlog sorry 
but I really wanted to give you an update and I really wanted to show my Christmas tree. It has been a very, very busy week. Lots of things. Moving, of course, takes up a lot of time, but also uh, I had to do some school things and it just was intense. But now I finally handed in and all my deadlines are over and wow, I'm so ready for a Christmas break. It's going to be amazing. So yeah, I will now finish up packing my suitcase and go home to my parents' house for Christmas. And it's going to be amazing and I'm so much looking forward to it and oh. oh one thing that I wanted to show you I forgot I forgot but I wanted to show you because in the mail I received a gift um, and my Amazon account wish list is still like on my parents house but um, yeah I got it from there earlier this week because I got this book the Dutch house by Anne Patchett from Mary from Mary among stories as a Christmas present thank you so much Mary you are the sweetest and this is like about a painting and it's like about generations that it goes down something like that honestly my brain is a bit fried right now it's not working properly so that's not a very good synopsis. And then I need to get up again because I have another Christmas present that I want to show you. Oh, it never ends. It never ends. I can never sit down. Oh my god. Oh, I do love my bookshelves. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But yeah, I got another Christmas present from Brit. From basically Brit. And it is Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. A Brief History of Humankind. Very interesting. Cannot wait to read this one. My dad has read this and says it's real good. So thank you Brit for this amazing Christmas present. I'm so happy with it. So yeah, apart from a moving vlog, you also get a tiny book haul. You know, I really spoil you guys with this amazing content. Oh my god. <laughs> so weird today i think it's time for me to end this vlog and go home to my parents and prepare for a nice christmas break i think that's a good idea so yeah i want to end this video by wishing you all an amazing christmas i know it's a difficult year and i know that probably like you cannot do what you want to do that's the case for a lot of people i hope you can still have some company even though it's not as big as usual you cannot see everybody I hope you have still somebody to share it with. I hope you can make the best of it. And yeah, at least that you have nice food or something or a good book to read. I really wish you all the best for Christmas and also for the new year. And like if, you, if you're watching this after Christmas, then I hope you had a nice Christmas. It has been a difficult year, 2020. I feel like everybody can agree on that. So I hope next year will be better. I hope Christmas will be good. And yeah, uh, this is it pretty much for this reading vlog. And if you uh, like this video, maybe go subscribe, leave a like or comment with an emoji. You can leave a comment with just an emoji to show you your love and support if you don't want to comment anything else. Since this is like the day before Christmas, let's leave a comment with a Christmas tree. It's not very original, but you know, I'm not really an original girl. So. <laughs> Let's just do that. And then this was it for this video. And I really hope you liked it. And hopefully I will see you again very soon in one of my next videos. Bye.